Well, after passing the toughest crackdown on illegal immigration in the nation, Arizona just passed a law that places restrictions on ethnic study classes in the public school system there. Well, critics say the controversial law discriminates against Latinos. Let's start the debate. Tom Horn is with Arizona's Department of Education and is the state superintendent of public instruction. And Mark Lamont Hill is with Columbia University and a cultural commentator. Both of you, thanks so much for joining me. Pleasure. Thanks well, for having us, Lynn. Tom, I want to begin with you first describing exactly what this bill is. It's ethnic studies also promoting the division between uh, different ethnicities. Describe to me what exactly does it do because you've been a big proponent of this. Yes, I've been fighting for this bill for four years. I wrote it um, and I, I pushed it through the legislature. Um, and, you know, as a matter of philosophy, you should know that in the summer of 1963, when I graduated from high school, I participated in the March on Washington in which Martin Luther King gave his famous speech which, where he said we should be judged by the content of our character and not the color of our skin. And that has been my deepest philosophy my entire life. And I believe that the schools especially should take students from different backgrounds and teach them to treat each other as individuals but and not on the basis of what race they were born into. Did you have some kind of indication th these, that showed that this was happening? Oh yes, they, what they've done is they, they, they've got Raza studies for the Latino kids, African American studies for the African American kids, Indian studies for the Native American kids, Asian studies for the Asian kids. It sounds just like the Old South. They've got kids divided by race, and uh, particularly in the Raza studies program, they're teaching them a very radical agenda, a separatist agenda, anti-Western culture, anti-capitalist, anti-free enterprise, um, using ethnic solidarity as their vehicle. We have a lot of testimony from teachers and former teachers as to what's going on in the program and it's something that's an well, outrage. Let me bring in Mark that, Lamont Hill uh, on this. Funds. Let me bring in Mark because Mark if you hear that there's a class that is banning uh, that is promoting the overthrow of the US government uh, are you against that? I'm against the overthrow of the U.S. government, yes, and I'm against any class that supports the overthrow of the U.S. government. I've looked at ethnic studies courses in high schools and colleges around the country for the last 10 years. It's what I do. And I've never seen that to be the case. I'm not saying Mr. Horn is lying or that he's wrong, but if that is the case, those are outliers. Those are a few rogue teachers who are doing something wrong. And I think anyone who's a proponent of ethnic studies would agree that we don't want to track people by race. I think ethnic studies works best when you have white students taking African American studies or when you have African American students taking Asian studies. That's when it looks and, and functions in the best possible way. Well, let's take a look at what exactly this uh, school would be prohibited from doing if they violated it. Take a look at this graphic. One, if they were, uh, schools are prohibited, des it's designed for a particular ethnic group, if a class is designed for a particular ethnic group, and also if it advocates for ethnic solidarity. Um, you know, a lot of critics That's say this is just another way to target Latinos. Tom, do you have any response to that? Uh, it, it's not targeting Latinos. On the contrary, I'm trying to get the schools to teach kids to treat each other as individuals and not on the basis of what race they were born into. What's important about people is what they know, what they can do, what's their character, not what race they happen to have been born oh. into. And I think it's an outrage when taxpayer funds are used in the schools to teach them that what's but, but, important is what race people were born Tom, into instead of what are their but, strengths but, but, as but individuals. But, no one, but Tom, no one is suggesting that because you take African American studies, you're saying that people should only be judged on the basis of race, it's saying that people, African American people have made contributions to this, to this country that need to be examined, that Latino people have made contributions that need to be examined. We've always had ethnic studies in schools. We only, we simply focus on European ethnicities. Now we're saying let's broaden the canopy to encompass everyone who makes up America. There's nothing wrong with that. It's as if we say that if we are to identify people by race, we can no longer judge them by the content of their character. I want you to see me as a black person and a person who has character and a person who has something to contribute to American democracy. You can do that and acknowledge my race, but somehow we think that the only way to acknowledge people's humanity is to ignore the fact that they have a race. Well, and of course, all of this comes as yesterday, Governor Jan Brewer said that she is going to try and uh, implement a new effort to sort of rebrand Arizona uh, as a result of some of these controversies. <laughs> so Tom Horn, also Mark yeah. Lamont Hill, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Okay. Could I just say that in our in our standards and all of I our classes, done, we teach all different cultures. We just don't want to divide them up. All right. Well, you hear from both sides. Thank you so much, you guys. We appreciate it.